Greetings, currently in California right now. I just got a question here. How do I, how do I develop trust again with my boyfriend once uh, you know, the trust has been gone? Okay, first of all, you need to understand that trust is intrinsic. It's inside of you. Looking for another person to be a certain way or to do certain things is setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for an expectation that may never be met. So the first thing that you have to understand is that trust is internal. It's always internal. It's going to always be internal. Trust is confusing because it is slightly based off of your perception of the external world. But at the end of the day, trust truly is an internal um, happening. It's an internal occurrence. So if you feel like trust is lost, what you have to understand first and foremost is that trust is lost because you're allowing yourself to feel like trust is lost. You're allowing yourself to feel that way. Yes, there was an event. There was a, a accident. There was an occurrence. There's a reason you're, you're feeling that trust is lost is justified because of X, Y, Z, whatever may have happened. But what you have to understand is that trust is a choice. So just how you can choose not to trust, you can choose again to trust, even after there has been occurrences or situations that could potentially um, disturb the trust. Just because something happens, here's another thing. Don't say that your trust has been broken. That's making it seem like trust is just a straight line and then it's broken and, and, and can't be snapped back together. No, look at it like a wave. When you look at trust like a wave, it's much easier to, to, to heal, to understand, to get over, to get through. So sometimes trust is really high, sometimes things bring us down. See, so when you ride a wave and it's like, a, like the ocean, it's much easier perspective. Now, I write about this in my book. The first thing you have to understand is that you may go back to a person that has hurt you, that has done something wrong to you, that has lost your trust, and it may never change. And you have to be ready for that. That is step number one. You have to be ready for that. You have to be ready to accept that this person is never going to change. This person is who they are, and they're gonna to continue to be this way. This is not only possible, but it's probable. It's probable that they're going to stay the same. Now, if a person really cares about you, they'll consider your feelings and consider altering behavior because there's a difference in something happening one time and a person's not aware of it. And then there's a difference between me being aware of it, you know, and just completely violating our agreement with each other. There's a there's a huge difference there. Everyone doesn't see everything the same way. So what you see is a is a breach of trust or as a lack of trust. The other person might not. And that's it's very possible. What I urge you to do is have relationship conversations with people and you guys don't have to be in a in a marriage if you're dealing with each other regardless of what the, the title is you guys should be talking about your expectations of each other what you guys are going to bring to the table you want to be having these conversations often because things change in life i mean our taste buds change all the time our hair our hair sheds uh, our skin changes every 28 days so it's important we talk about our relationships often so we know what to expect of each other because when we don't know what to expect, then that's why we, we, we violate each other's trust. The other thing that I want you to do is forgive yourself. A lot of times when our trust is violated, we victimize ourselves and we feel like a person has done something to us to intentionally hurt us. And then we ask ourselves questions like, well, what's wrong with me? What did I do? Why, why, why am I not good enough? Why, why can't they do this? Why don't they love me? Stop. Don't do that. Don't ever, don't ever, ever do that. Here's the deal. You can't control another human being. I can't control another human being. You can barely control yourself. You, you don't even know what you're going to wear this morning. The next time you get hungry, you don't even know what you're going to eat. So we can't sit here and think, OK, we can control other people or we should expect people to act a certain way because we can't control ourselves. So we can't internalize the pain from anybody's happenings. We have to truly let it go when something happens. Your trust gets violated. 
understand that you can't control anyone. You're lucky if they care and they try to uh, adapt in the future, right? Always remember that trust is internal. If you go back to this situation and you don't trust them, you're going to create an environment with no trust, right? So you almost have to trick yourself, put yourself into some type of self-hypnosis and just allow yourself to trust. Now, this may not be easy. This may not happen day one. You may need a little bit of time to do this. It's important that you understand that trust is internal and that even though they may change their behavior, there's still nothing that they can do to heal you until you heal you. You have to believe that they have your best interest in heart. You have to believe in trust. It's not up to them to prove and prove and prove and prove. Because there's plenty of situations where people break trust and then they're like, okay, I gotta get this person's trust back. I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. And then they never get the person's trust back. That's because trust is internal. You have to heal internally. So, in conclusion, and this topic is something, we could go on and on with this topic. I may hit this topic again. I do cover this topic in my book, The Dear Queen Journey. I talk about going back to a situation when there's no trust. In my other book, Dear Soul, I actually have 40 pages dedicated to trust, to trust issues, how to develop trust, how to get over trust. It's a full laid out program. This is just a short video to help out. If you want more, get the books, invest in the books. I'm gonna put the link in my bio. The last thing I wanna leave you with is this. Trust is internal. It is up to you at all times to heal yourself internally. Because when you don't have trust in a relationship, you don't have a relationship. If there's no trust in the relationship, it's just two people playing house. And that doesn't work for long. Always forgive people because nobody is perfect. You need to be forgiven as well. So forgive yourself. Don't hold on to any unnecessary pain. If you're holding pain in your hand like a bottle of acid, let it go so you can breathe and be free. Trust is essential to your relationship. You need trust. Trust yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive everyone else. You don't want to walk around with all that pain, harboring all that pain. It's not a good place to be. Thank you, guys.